Okay, here on Toledo Bend today, we crappie fished on brush tops. And what we try to do is you try to put your bait on top of the brush pile, not down in the brush pile or on the side of the brush pile. So what I like to use is slip carks. And what the slip cork does is it allows you to set the right depth so your minnow will not get in the brush pile. And you can also use it on jigs. We use it on jigs when we're fishing shallow in the spring. But today, on today's show, we mainly used it on the brush piles. And when I'm saying slip cork, what, what you do, you can buy these little, just about any local tackle shop. It comes in a pack, you know, 15 to 25. And what this little tube does is you just slide it on your line and you, you pull it off to the depth you want. So today we're fishing about 14 foot. So you just, you just count it off and pull 14 feet out. And then what you do is you slide this little string off this piece of tubing here. You slide it off the tubing onto your string, onto your mono. And then you take both ends of this and pull it as tight as you can get it. And what I like to do is wrap around my finger and get it tight. Try to get it as tight as you can. And then you get your pair of scissors and you cut the excess off. And this is what leaves it right here. And then what you do, you pull, you go back to you to the end of your line. And then you take, it comes with the with a little bead, and you run your bead on it. And what the bead will do is the bead will be between your cork and your bobber stopper. And all this is is just a little safety. You know, so if your cart does, you know, get up on your bobber stopper, it will not slide through. Put your mono through the bead and, and, and take your slip cork, it has to be a slip cork, and run your slip cork in. And then you just put your, we just used a, a two alt Aberdeen hook, and then I use a 3 16 what I call a, just a, a smash on weight. It's got two ears on it. And smash your ears over on your mono. And what this will do is, when you wind up, the bobber stopper will wind into your reel. Now on a lot of your push button reels, your spinning reels are fine, but on some of the push buttons, the bobber stopper will not go in your spools as good. But the, but the Zebco, um, it, it does real good. So what this does, that just winds up inside your reel. So when you drop, when you get on top of the brush pile, you can drop your bait, and then the cork will slide down to 14 feet, and it will hold that, it'll hold the cork on top of the brush. And that's how we fish today. <laughs>